New backpack! That means school soon! Yay! It's not, it's not that bad. I mean, I'm gonna be in college, kind of. Well, I'm gonna be in college, not kind of. But, of course, there's always do's and don'ts for school. But we're gonna focus on the first day. So, a don't for me already is braces, because I have to get them tomorrow, and no one wants braces on the first day at a new school, because there's nicknames. But, I'm gonna ignore them, because bullies are main. A do is be nice and smile. I've learned this from so, from so many YouTube videos, always smile and be nice. If you smile, people will come up to you. Maybe, if you don't look intimidating, because apparently I do. I don't know why. Um, another don't, don't get on your teacher's bad side. That's not a good way to start off the school year at all. Like, why teach, then they will get you the rest of the year and be watching you. Another one, a do, is be weird. Not just be weird, just be yourself. Don't be normal, don't be like everyone else. Don't try to be something you're not, basically. That's a don't, but be yourself. Don't try to impress everyone. You can't please everyone if you're being yourself. Um, another don't, don't try to be cool. This goes along with be yourself. If you're naturally cool, okay, I've never met anyone naturally cool. I'm definitely not. But don't be, don't try to be something you're not. Like I said, don't, no one needs to be cool. If you want to be cool, then you're doing school wrong. Uh, try to make friends. And when I say try, I'm very bad at making friends, like I am like the most shy person, which is weird because in my videos I don't seem that way, but I'm really, really shy. Like it takes a lot in me to go up to someone and talk to them. But I think when I go to school for the first day, I'm going to go to class, and I go to the cl one class right now, I'm going to go in and learn one person's name, at least. And I'm going to talk to them and s get to know them. Like for the first week, I'm going to do that. Another don't is don't start slacking in class. If you are in middle school or high school and college, kindergarten I don't really think, or elementary school I don't really think it like matters because your parents. But normally in those years like middle school and high school, those are the years you don't want to slack. Definitely high school. If you start slacking, one, you're going to get on bad, your teacher's bad side. So don't do that. Um, Middle school is not that bad, but you're like in your teenager years and you're like, oh my god, I don't want to do this. Don't slack off because if you slack off and if you're like towards the, at the end of the semester and you're like, oh my god, what do I have an F? Oh, then you try to bring it up at the end of the year, which isn't going to work. So you're going to be left with a bad grade, which no one wants. Definitely high school because... High school, you have to be looking for your future. If you want to go to college, you have to get good grades, which I didn't really, I mean, I'm going to college, but it's a lot, it's, oh, I have troubles focusing, that's it. Um, so don't slack off, just, just pay attention and do your work, but don't focus on just school. Make friends, it, definitely in high school, make friends, get involved, everything. And don't slack off though. Find a balance. Another do, be honest. If uh, this goes along with being yourself, don't lie to impress people. That's just not how school should be at all. Definitely high school or middle school. Definitely college. College is this is where you find yourself, for sure. High school, you find your interests, and then college, you really find out what you want to do after you're completely done with school, unless you already figured it out in high school. I kind of did, but still options are opened. Another one. This is the one my brother gave me because I sure enough did not come up with this one. Don't be smart out loud. And by this is people will take advantage if they know that you're the smart kid. And I know that sounds bad like oh don't raise your hand and blah blah blah. I'm not saying don't get involved in class. I'm just saying don't answer every question. Like be one of those kids that answers like every one or two questions every now and again if you do know the answer. If you know the answer to every question, keep it to yourself. I know you want to get involved, but if you don't want to get used, I wouldn't do that because people will use you. I have been used in some subjects, not all, because I'm not that smart sometimes. 
but in math or something like that. No, that's normally when it happens. But of course, be smart, but don't be like smart enough where people will take advantage. And see who's taking advantage of you. Like if they're asking you to be their partner every time and you barely know them, that'd be suspicious. Uh, but be smart in general. Like don't, just be smart with your choices and also make sure you study because that's another do. Do study because if you don't study you will forget everything you learned in high school. Another do is dress to impress. I know I know I say like don't try to impress people, uh, but dress civilized. <laughs> I don't know how to put it in nice words. Dress like not like a bum. Me, I would dress like a bum, but I wanna first day you have to dress nice to like so people don't think that you are a complete bum. Like you don't want to you don't want rumors to start the first day. Maybe the next week. <laughs> so me, I'd probably wear sweatpants in like two weeks for once after school starts, but probably not. But dress to impress. Like go into school looking nice, feeling confident. So wear something you feel confident in, basically. Another don't. Don't cross the it group, which are like the mean girl groups, like those type of groups, or like the bullies of the school. Do not cross them. If you cross them, your high school, definitely high school career will be terrible. Like, I had some problems, but sometimes I was in the it group, which is hard to believe, huh? But unfortunately I was, but of course that, yeah, didn't work out too well. So don't cross the it group and don't become the it group. That's another one. Don't become an it group. Don't be one of those girls that, or guys that bullies and calls people names. If you have something to say, say it to their face. I know that's like a little like, oh my god, isn't that bullying? No. If you have a problem with someone, get up to, like, go to them and say, I don't really like you. And if they have a problem with it, then don't communicate with them. Don't pretend to be someone's friend. Like, that's just two-facing. Like, no one likes two-facer. And then when they find out you're two-facing, it's not gonna end well. Last don't, because I don't have any more dues. I know, that's great. That's terrible. Thing you should not talk about is sports or politics. Sports, guys get really competitive about. I will support Lakers no matter what. Lakers is my thing. <laughs> but if you're a girl, this is mostly for guys. Girls don't really communicate with sports unless you're into sports. Then you're the first girl I met that's into sports. Nice to meet you. Like my mom, my mom's super into sports. But don't try to start conversations with sports or politics. If you see guys arguing about sports, you better step away. Or even females, just step back out of that conversation. If you go up and they're talking about sports, you better walk the other way. Politics is definitely a touchy subject because people are stubborn. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. Not everyone is like stubborn as most people, but people that are stubborn about politics, they will fight for what they believe in no matter what it is. If they think it's right, they will fight for it. Definitely with elections coming up next month, next year, get ready guys, because politics is about to be a strong subject. So if you not want to get involved with that and people asking you questions, oh, what do you believe in? I don't know. Just walk away from the politics conversation. Um, and that's it. Those are all my do's and don'ts. But here's my backpack, by the way. I have VidCon things, full screen pens on the bottom. They are so cute. And a Canon one right here. Um, yeah. So that's my new backpack. Um, I haven't gotten anything. I'm not getting any new school supplies, really. But have fun on your first day. Some people are starting this week, like my brother. And um, I'm starting next week, and then my other brother, Romello, is starting at the end of the month. He's going to Vermont for college, so if you see him, say what's up. <laughs> but that's it. That's my video for do's and don'ts for the first day of school. Maybe I'll do one after winter break. Maybe some more do's and don'ts um, when to come back to school for the second semester. But for now, give me some more do's and don'ts. What are some do's and don'ts that you guys prefer in the comments down below? I am going to be doing a You Now um, live stream when I watch like television and I'm going to be talking about them. So if you want to get involved with that, 
um, I will be tweeting at it. So check me out on you now, and I'll see you guys sometime this week, maybe. Yep.